Today's challenge is we are going to hit a draw with every single golf shot, even our putts, if that's possible. Let's go. Whoop! Massive draw of the first. We're going to straight over the right trees, bring it back in. Just a cheeky 100 yard draw. Oh, it's on the, it's on the 17th fairway. Oh, it's a beauty. Right, good start. Mate, it's mad that, which is, not gonna lie, absolutely crunch that. Just pulled it initially, so it didn't start right enough and then come, so just gonna have to push out the hips a little bit more, I reckon, to get it on, on point. But I'm genuinely excited for today, because I just love hitting pearly draws. I mean, it's the best and the sexiest ball flight in golf, so it's gonna be good. Can't wait to see the shot tracer on these. So in theory, if I successfully draw at every hole, I should then always set myself up for another draw. So I've made my way onto the uh, wrong fairway, but look, now I've got a lovely draw onto the pin. Got around 100 and, I think 130 yards. I'm gonna take, I'm gonna go for a big, might go for a gapper, actually. Yeah, a little gapper draw here. Yeah? Sit. I think that was long, right? It didn't move that much. The problem with wedges, wedges are so hard to move, but that counts. That was like a, we'll give that a two, three yard draw, yeah? So I hit that too pure and definitely hit it too far. This is the problem with hitting draws everywhere. The ball just absolutely flies. We were for at least 20 yards over the pin. Now I've got to play somehow a 60 off the back foot draw, short sided on the green. This is going to be special. Just be ready for some brilliance, mate. It's not bad, that was a little draw, did you see that? That little right to left. We've got a little left to right here. I don't think hitting a draw of a putter is actually possible. I'm just gonna have to put it in the hole. Oh, fuck. <laughs> Fuck's sake. Right, solid bogey to start. To be honest, it was the second shot. Yeah, not a good, not a good shot. Rush my yardage. We move. Right, this next hole is made for a draw. Big dog leg down the hill. Oh, it's gonna be beautiful. I'm just gonna really aim round right and rip this one through now. This is gonna be beasted. Right, I've gotta go super high tier because I fucking can't get the tee in the ground. I actually got so much top spin on that. <laughs> Too much top spin on that. So we're gonna have to gonna have to reduce the amount of top spin. I, right, I think someone has hit my ball because it was on so many different fairways away. I'm gonna take one from here. I've got a draw set up. I've got to go around this tree and the green's about 220 yards away. So be ready for it. We're gonna take a big five iron. Shanked it. Oh my fucking God. That's gone so Fucking far gone. right. Fuck's sake. Shanked it. Fuck's sake. Well, that wasn't intended. That was like a semi shank and it was just a render. So now I have got a nice shot over the trees. The question is, can I get it up there? That's better. Oh, that's money. Oh! <laughs> Oh my God. So we didn't account for the fact that part of the greens are probably really frozen right now. And that ball has just boinged straight off the tree into the river south. Fantastic. As if this hole couldn't get any fucking worse. That was money. That was money. A little, little draw, like a little flop. It was beautiful. Oh, fuck's sake. We're going to put this hole down to a double bogey. Okay, because what's happened is just outrageous. We've got someone's picked up a ball, and then at the same time, we've then got the biggest boing off the green into the river. So let's call that a double, Matty, you reckon? So let's just say we're free over, because that was fucking atrocious. Free over, free two. Drawing's not going well. I've shanked one already. So now I better start doing some work. Let's see if I've got a, bet a better golf ball that brings me a bit more luck. Oh no, nothing worse than checking the bag and all you've got is Pro Vs. Oh. It's gonna be an expensive day, isn't it? Gonna be an expensive day. Right, no more aggression, just caressing draws. It's so hard that I can no longer put a tee in it, so 
I'm hitting a draw off a little bit of concrete here. Tiger stinger sort of vibes. Hello, Hello baby. Hello. Uh, uh, woo, that was money. Right, the vibe's back. We're starting to actually play golf again. Little four iron from the back foot. Just let them, let them hams follow that lovely body. Boom. And if you're wondering why my, my golf's a little bit loose at the moment, I have just come back from a skiing holiday and you see that voice? That's what 100 Jager bombs does to you. So I'm currently recovering from a massive hangover. Can't even see the flag. Absolutely blinded. Little 50 punch draw, nice and steady. Work it off the right, bunkers and in. Sit. I'll sit. It's all right. Oh! I didn't mean to pull it that much. Just got a grilling from Matty because I shouldn't have landed on the green. I landed it left of the green and it's bounced OB once again. This is why you don't play on pros in golf courses. Fuck's sake. Let's go find a Pro V1. This is a joke. I just hit the best shot of my, my life and it somehow hasn't gone there. Oh, where did it bounce? Look at that. Hear that? Yeah, I think, I think we're going to have to take a, you know, that was a great shot and it's been savagely punished by the golf course there. So just for the sake of the video, we're going to make out that was a correct golf rule. We're just going to place the ball down on the concrete, all right? What was that? It's why winter golf's a joke. It's why winter golf's a joke. Do we call that a par? I think that's fair to call it a par. I mean, two great shots there. Two great shots there. Keep your head on. Keep your head on. Right, it's free iron, low draw on this bad boy. I just the goal is just to keep the ball in play. With all the concrete around and all the frozen ground, like no point trying to hit high draws anymore. Just low draws, low stingers. Once again, we're off the concrete. This time, free iron, low draw it is. I can't tee it up, mate. I can't get my tee in there. This is this is horrendous. I'm gonna run out of golf balls, mate, more than I'm gonna run out of fucking tees. Right, now that's better. Right, we have got a chance. Go golf ball! Oh! Did you see that bounce? It like scooted off right. That was money. That is more like it. No, I'm gonna have to go and inspect the green first. Make sure there's a soft spot that I can land it on. Not a bad drive. We'll take it. Best draw I've hit in a while with my driver, I have to say. Got a bit of softness there. If I do get some spin here, I reckon it might actually work. <sighs> Woo! That was sexy, wasn't it? Right, now we're back in it. That was so much better. I'm starting to realise, though, why like no pros play with a draw anymore. Because it is just so difficult to control your distance, your flight. Look at that green, Matthew. Right, let's have a look at that. I mean, you can see how white that green is from here, right? I'm gonna have to land this one short. So we've got around, the green's actually about 150 yards, but I'm gonna actually hit a gap wedge. Or I might hit a little punchy nine, just to try and hit it short and let it just slowly scrape on. I reckon we're gonna make a two here, Matthew. Right, you both ready for this? This is gonna be, Lovely little nine iron, off that tree, little draw in, yeah? Sit, sit. No! Why did we play today? Oh, do you know what? I actually hit that not bad again. I'm pulling the ball a little. It's still getting that nice little draw, but I'm pulling it a little. This is actually a joke. Like, I'm on a solid lie. The green is fully frozen. I've got to somehow bounce it just on the edge. Let's see how it goes. Sit, baby. <laughs> it's just, it's, this is it's a fucking joke. Oh, oh, how? I, this is for par. Oh my God, look how much that sat down. Oh. 
I mean, that's a double bogey where, like, it feels like a par in these conditions. It's outrageous. I'm glad today the main focus of this round was just to hit as many draws as possible because if it was about scoring, I would be doing very fucking shit. Just took me an hour to get that to you. Ready? This is gonna be aim off the right trees, drop it straight into the middle. Honestly, you've never seen anything like this, sports fans. Oh! Yeah, he appreciated that one. To be fair, that wasn't really a draw. That was just like a two foot draw that was just boom. Welcome back to Danny, friend of the channel. Low stinger with his two iron. Oh, mate. Yeah, it was a meaty one, that was. Tell you what, I absolutely crucified that. We've now got 140 yards, or maybe even 130 yards left in on a, on a 520 par five. Gotta love that. 130 up the hill, an unfrozen bit on the right, so I'm gonna have to aim for that. Little, little punch of a wedge. Little punch draw with a wedge. I was like a. Yeah. Yes. I did aim. I was like the same for the same for the sunny spot. I'm actually not sure that was the first one of the day where I actually didn't hit a draw. It started. It's, it's weird because I hit the ball really high, so I'm starting with a little bit of a draw, and then the wind takes it back to the right. Who knew the draw fade? What a goal! What a goal shot! Yeah, I've got to do a little draw chip here. Off the back foot, a little bit of a punch. I think this is going in. This, this is actually going in. I'm trying to draw it too much. Now I've got to make, now I've got to make a big putt for this. Now I've got to make a big putt. Come on then. Donkey, fucking donkey. Oh! That race, didn't it? Put this into the back fucking doors. Don't miss them sports fans, but that should be a birdie all day. Side of the green. I mean, the chip was just shocking. 130 yards in after one and par five, and I made a par. Sit down. Not bad. Bit of fucking top swim with 50. I feel like I'm starting to get my game back. Might have to play with draw the whole time. Pretty good, isn't it? Tell you what, with all of the conditions, all of the obstacles, little 50 draw, pitched on the front, rolls all the way to the back. It's money if I've ever seen it. Money! Right, fellas, we're looking at 20 footer, slightly right to left downhill, which is perfect for a little draw with a footer. Just gonna have to go in. How is it not gone? Oh, that was money. As soon as it came off the path, well, I was going in. Hitting baby draw on this one. Might have to be five. Might have to be five wood. Getting nervous about the car park again, so. Just makes me nervous. And then you see playing partners flare it right like that. And like, you just know. And the thing is, if I, if I aim right and I block it, it's hit another car. And I just can't deal with that. So I'm going to hit five wood. Little draw. I haven't hit five wood all day. Little draw. Off the deck, five wood. Mate, I can't get a fucking tee in the ground. I've got to loft it up with a forward. There's nothing worse. <laughs> oh, no. Christ. Shut up. It's not that bad. Not good. We're in play. We actually need a draw on this one. 97 yards. So I think a little punch. I, the, the green looks forward out here, so I think a little punch. Um, with a 50 is perfect. Hopefully we get some spin on action here, so we'll see. Sit down. It's a shame, because if the greens were soft, that'd have been absolutely perfect. It's just rolled to the back, but we'll take it, we'll take it. I actually loved that last shot I played, but the concrete conditions didn't help me again. Oh, stay up. Oh, no. It's good length, but not the best line. Don't miss those. Oh, just more worried about the next shot. In order to hit a draw, I need to aim over the clubhouse, so. <laughs> Here we fucking go. Right, final draw off a tee on the ninth hole. I'm going to aim down the right. Come on, you slag. Get in there. Fucking hell. I want to have a decent tee on this shot. 
Mate, I can't get in. How did you do it? I was so scared to fit in the draw, I'm not going to lie. I was just like, right, whatever you do, pull this massively left. We're nowhere near the car park. The green side, greens by the look of it, absolutely concrete. But I'm determined to actually finish on a high today with a bit of a birdie. I feel like my golf in the latter part of the, these nine holes has been really good. It's not been bad at all. Like, it's been pretty steady, but the first few holes are just abysmal. Not knowing how concrete the conditions were. And, but let's finish on a high. Let's finish with a birdie. Come on. So it's got to be a little flop. Don't. I'm going to have to hit it quite. Sh I'm going to have to leave it pretty short at the green, I reckon. So all day, I've put every ball I've hit in order to hit a draw. This is how I hit a draw, by the way. It's on the back foot. Made sure my right elbow's under under my left. And just sweep through like, a, like you're almost hitting a tennis shot. Yeah. That's how I always play it anyway. So we're going to try and do something similar here. We're going to get a little bit more loft. Come on. Get a bit of loft. Oh, that's so nippy. Spin, baby. Tell you what, with the concrete greens, that was pretty good. I'm pretty impressed with how clean I've hit it off the frozen surfaces, to be fair. Here we go. Right, come on then. Let's go a little left to right, down the hill. Just a gentle stroke, let it trickle in. Never came in. Do you know what? I actually really enjoyed that. Trying to hit draws all the time is fun, but I'll tell you one thing it's not good for, your golf score and your golf game. Right, see you next week. And by the way, if you want to actually see some quality golf and see the old car park incident so you actually understand why I was so nervous, go and check it out. I don't know whereabouts it's going to be on the screen, so see you in a bit. See you in a bit.